Hello, my name is Stephen Livermore, and this is Messiah United Methodist Church's devotional for the day. I want to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from the Message version of the Bible by Eugene Peterson. Beginning in the middle of uh, that chapter, love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, keeps going to the end. Love is at the heart of our Christian faith. Everything that Jesus was about, everything that he said, everything that he did, was motivated, rooted, and grounded in love. His love for his Heavenly Father and his love for you and for me. Love is a commodity that is greatly needed in the world today. It's hardly a commodity, really. It's a treasure. C.S. Lewis <clears throat> wrote a book about love in its various forms in a book called The Four Loves. And in the sixth chapter of his book, he says this, to love at all is to be vulnerable. Love anything and your heart will, will certainly be wrung and possibly be broken. If you want to make sure of keeping it intact, you must give your heart to no one, not even to an animal. Wrap it carefully around with hobbies and little luxuries. Avoid all entanglements. Lock it up safe in a casket or coffin of your selfishness. Put it in that casket, safe, dark, motionless, airless. It will change. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable, impenetrable, irredeemable. The alternative to tragedy, or at least to the risk of tragedy, is damnation. The only place outside heaven where you can be perfectly safe from all the dangers and perpetrudes of love is hell. We're learning, I hope, a lot of things from this forced separation that we have in order to um, stem the flood of this virus. And even in that self-isolation can be found an expression of love, a love for others not to hurt and to keep them safe. My prayer for us is that when we come through this time, which we will, that we will remember the lessons we've learned, whatever they may be, but that certainly one of them should be how to really love and care for each other when we have the opportunity to do so. I hope and pray that your day-to-day -day is blessed and that God will flood you with the knowledge of his love for you and that you'll share that love with the people that you're with, whether it's physically in their presence or with a phone call, a letter, an email, but express God's love. Share it. Don't tuck it away. Uh, use it to show God's love to others.